Hello everyone and welcome back to Filmbook Review, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Featured in Google News, IMDb's news desk, and a member of the Critics' Choice Association, Filmbook is an entertainment industry news website that reports on the film and television show industries in the United States and across the world. Today on Filmbook Review, I'll be reviewing the film Don't Make Me Go, a movie that screened at the 2022 Tribeca Film Festival. Don't Make Me Go is directed by Hannah Marks, written by Vera Herbert, and stars John Cho, Mia Isaac, K.S. Godelario, Josh Thompson, and Otis Donji. This is a Don't Make Me Go movie review, and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Don't Make Me Go film review, as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm, and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box, and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. And now, the Don't Make Me Go movie review. Filmmaker Hannah Marks returns to the Tribeca Festival this year with her new heartfelt dramatic comedy, Don't Make Me Go. Marks has created a very emotional, yet also terrifically entertaining new picture that stars John Cho in a dramatically challenging role for the very underrated actor. This new picture showcases one of Cho's most moving performances, and under Mark's guidance, Cho comes up with one of his best performances to date as well. This new picture is well-paced and is simple to digest for viewers looking for something both relatable and easy to follow. Cho plays a single dad named Max Park, a musical artist turned everyday professional who is getting it on with his booty call Annie as we first meet him. He has a teenage daughter named Wally, and it seems that Wally's mom, Nicole, well portrayed by Jen Van Epps, had bailed on her when Wally was just a child. Max receives some news of a brain tumor that could lead to his death. If Max gets surgery, he will only have a 20% chance at survival. Desperate to spend what could be his last days with his daughter, who he grounded in the early part of the picture when she got involved with the wrong crowd, he conceives a plan. He decides to try to reunite Wally with Nicole, and a road trip is set into motion. Max convinces Wally to tag along by offering her driving lessons. However, he doesn't tell her the real reason for this journey to Florida. She believes they are traveling to his school reunion, which is actually happening along the way. Don't Make Me Go opens as the father and daughter arrive on a nude beach. They are there by accident, and Wally is embarrassed. Then, the film flashes back in time to show how the pair arrive at that location. Wally sneaks out to go to a party in one scene, and when Cho tries to reach out to her when he realizes she is not where she is supposed to be with him, Cho captures the worried nature of Max's character to perfection. Max is a good father who knows that his daughter is flawed, but he also realizes she is just a teenager and has a lot of growing up to do. This film surprises when it suggests that Wally could be the more mature one because she's not the one lying about going to see a false destination. Wally keeps it real the best she can. When Wally falls for a younger guy and he rejects her attempts to kiss him, the result is a bit heartbreaking because Wally, in this scene, realizes everything is not attainable that she wants in her life. When, later on, we learn that Wally has some other problems, it all begins to make sense because she certainly has a lot to deal with, a bit more than your average teenager. When the film reaches the dramatic sequence where Max goes to his reunion, more plot revelations are brought into view that make an already complicated situation even harder. Max can't get a break. We finally meet Nicole and learn that everything Max thought was attainable for Wally's future is not going to be so easy to grasp. Isaac and Cho have some very powerful scenes together. They mostly argue throughout the picture, but when Wally tells her dad how much she needs to have him in her life, it's quite a moving scene. Cho's Max is flawed, but he is only human, and as a parent, tries the best he can to leave Wally with a promising future. People will be divided about the movie's ending, but I actually thought it was a good one. This movie was not predictable, but keep in mind a scene where Wally is flipped upside down because the results of that sequence will come into view later on. By the time Wally and Max share some quality father-daughter time together as Max sings at a karaoke bar, fate seems to have other things in store for these two characters. Cho holds the movie together, but Isaac is equally capable of demanding the viewer's attention in their scenes together. As Guy, Max's good friend, Josh Thompson also stands out with a quality supporting performance that is a typically confidant role, but has a bit more substance to it thanks to Thompson's work here. 
As one of Wally's pals, Stefania Levy Owen has some good scenes opposite Isaac too. It's a well-cast picture. While there are problems with Don't Make Me Go, it is a bit overlong. It may be filled with one too many plot developments, and the last scenes may turn off some viewers. John Cho is a fine actor who never fails to surprise viewers with each new part he takes on. I was happy to see Isaac's character was so strongly developed as well. She is not your typical teenager by any stretch. Overall, emotionally speaking, this is a moving picture that could sneak up on you and make you happy you took this trip with these characters. And that brings us to the conclusion of this Don't Make Me Go movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comments section. If you liked what you heard during this review, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Please also visit and subscribe to our podcast channel at Filmbook Podcast and our trailer and reaction channel at Filmbook Trailers. Thank you for viewing, and you can watch one of these reviews next.